itching and scratching consumed Karen Berger's life until she met dermatologist Dr. Brian Kim. He would scratch, he would bleed. I would wake up in the morning and there'd be blood on the sheets because I had scratched during the night. I wasn't even aware of it, but you would scratch until you just bled. Her quality of life the two years before was debilitating and at times beyond what words can describe. This is what she said she did all the time, scratch herself as the itching was unbearable, unrelenting and uncontrollable. It never went away. I started getting rashes on my back. It ended up spreading everywhere. And she said no one could diagnose the cause. Karen went to specialists, dermatologists, allergists. She tried every test and cream they offered. I had over 200 different tests on my back. So I went through the whole elimination process. Completely changed my diet, changed everything I wore, changed soaps, shampoos, everything. Because just in case, that was part of the problem. And still, nothing worked. No relief and it only got worse. Eventually, she was sent to see Dr. Kim. It became overwhelming. So when I, before I be, got on the medication, it became so overwhelming that I, I didn't know what I was gonna do next. I just didn't know what else to do. That medication is the remedy Kim offered. He's able to help Karen and some other chronic itch patients who have a type of itch from an unknown cause, a condition called idiopathic puritis. For Karen, Kim prescribes the anti-inflammatory drug Zelljans, a rheumatoid arthritis medication. It's a potential new therapy for chronic itch. While off-label for itching, Karen said she didn't have issues with insurance coverage because she has rheumatoid arthritis. It was just a matter of switching her arthritis medications to Zelljans. drug called tofacidinib, um, its brand name is Zelljans, and it is known this jack enzyme that it blocks was known to be a great target as an anti-inflammatory agent so as a result this drug is used for rheumatoid arthritis which is an inflammatory disease of the joints kim is co-director of the center for the study of itch at washington university school of medicine in st louis the research team showed that sensory neurons in mice and people are activated by the immune signaling molecule called interleukin-4 or IL-4. The molecule stimulates a key protein in nerve cells, a critical component of chronic itching. This led to a small study providing proof that the medication Zelljans works for chronic itch. And the aha moment was that, ah, Jack doesn't just work in immune cells, but it's very important in the nervous system. So then the focus shifted for us that, oh, this drug could actually be a neuromodulatory drug, not an immunomodulatory drug. In the study, patients on average experienced 80% improvement. After two years of suffering, Karen's life changed within a matter of days. Once I started taking it, um, within 24 hours, the, the intensity of the itch had started to subside. It was like, I got out of the shower that morning, I was like, Hmm, I'm not itching as bad. That's interesting. Still all broken out, still, you know, still scratchy at places, but within two or three days, it was like it was subsiding. It was like watching it go away. And within a week, I was fairly clear, but within two weeks, I was completely clear. I was like, I was back to my normal skin then. 15% of people suffer from chronic itch, most often caused by inflammatory conditions like eczema and psoriasis or associated with cancers and nerve disorders. The itching could have rashes or not. Chronic itching without a known cause is more of a problem as people age. Your nervous system starts to wear out and, it, and your, your nervous system is really uh, kind of simply put electrical signals that go back up to your brain and that wiring gets uh, a little bit rusty and, and off and your ner nerves start firing in ways that they probably shouldn't or don't regulate the way that they should. That happens with aging. We know that neurologic disorders are much more common as you get older. But the other thing we also recognize is that your skin, as a dermatologist, that your skin gets weaker and drier and more wrinkly and thinner. And so you're now much more susceptible to environmental insults to your skin and to the nerves that are go to your skin. And then the third thing is that we also know your immune system changes. Um, you need vaccines when you're a baby, but you also now start to need to get vaccines as you get older because your immune system starts to get imbalanced. And it's really a combination of all those things that lead to some level of inflammation, your nerves going haywire, your skin barrier not being able to recover from insults.
that we think that really results in this kind of itch and why it's so prevalent. He says he understands the frustration of chronic itch that doctors can't diagnose or effectively treat. People will even, on the extreme end, people will uh, endorse suicidal thoughts. Uh, you know, they can't sleep. And if you can't sleep, the itch probably gets worse. Everything gets worse. Your health starts to deteriorate. You can't concentrate. You can't enjoy your, you start developing anxiety. It's very rare that a patient can get a drug like this approved. To, to get an on-label, you'd have to do a big clinical trial and prove that it's really effective. Karen feels fortunate that she has her quality of life back to where it was before that first rash. Back to being normal again. I mean, I can just be normal again. I don't have to worry about it. For HEC, I'm Kathleen Berger.